Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and in this video I'll be going over the various discounts and bonuses that are now active in GTA Online as of Thursday the 18th of November 2021. All of these are going to be available for one week until Thursday the 25th of November. The podium vehicle this week is the Zerusso, which can be won by spinning the lucky wheel in the casino. It's in the supers class and normally sets you back just under $2 million. It's in the B tier for supercar races and isn't the nicest to drive over bumps now that off-road wheels don't help it but still a decently quick car worth winning for free if you want one. The prize ride this week is the Dominator GTT, which can be won by winning an LS Car Meet race for three days in a row, then claiming it at the LS Car Meet Slam Truck. It's in the muscle class and normally costs you just over $1.2 million. It was the quickest in the muscle class for a few weeks until the ASP came along, but it's still a nice fast A tier muscle car that's relatively easy to drive too. The premium race this week is Crossing Paths, which is an old style lap race in the city for the Sport Classics class. The top S tier of Sport Classics will as usual be best to use here, which contains the Turismo, Cheetah and Rapid GT Classics alongside the Retinue Mark II. Also the regular time trial this week is Stab City, which you can see being completed later in the video alongside the premium race track, with the RC time trial being Construction Site 1. In terms of regular vehicle discounts, we're starting with 100% off the Bugstars Burrito, which is a vehicle that can spawn at the docks and be stored in your garage for free anyway. So the fact Rockstar added it with the Casino Heist DLC as a buyable vehicle for $500,000 in the first place is egregious on its own. There's also 40% off the PR4, which is the second quickest open wheel car, the SADRR, which is the fourth quickest supercar, and the Vagrant, which is the quickest off-road car. You can also take advantage of 40% off the Paragon, Everun, Rampant Rocket and Invade and Persuade RC Tank. You can of course find out the lap times, top speeds and tiers of all the vehicles that I've mentioned here by checking out the playlist and video links in the description and pinned comment. In terms of discounts specifically for Amazon Prime Gaming members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club accounts, you guessed it, it's the Z-Type, Bezra and Sanctus once again which makes it the fifth week in a row we've had these discounts for Prime. I think that's the longest stint for the same discounts for Prime now. Crazy. Also, if you do have Prime Gaming and you haven't already, make sure you're giving your free subscription to a Twitch streamer each month as well. It doesn't have to be me, but make sure you're giving it to someone as you're basically supporting them with a $2.50 donation without any extra cost to you. Other miscellaneous bonuses this week include triple money on Diamond Casino Adversary Modes, plus double money on Casino Story and Free Mode Missions. Diamonds are also back in the casino to steal during the heist, and there's double car meet rep being dished out for sprint races. There's also 35% off the casino penthouse and penthouse renovations, plus 40% off casino clothing. In terms of my deal of the week, 40% off the quickest off-road car sounds pretty decent to me. While the BF400 is still the king for off-road races and the Camacho is the most consistent even if a little slower, the Vagrant has the best lap time in the off-road class and as long as you can handle it, it will be very competitive. And now it's time for the news and discussion segment of the video where I ramble on for a few minutes about something while you watch me complete this week's time trial and showcase the track for the premium race. So I guess we've got to talk about the Grand, the Theft, the Auto, the Trilogy, the Definitive, the Editions. Because they've gotten a lot worse since I talked about it last week. Obviously I did talk about it on last week's video and they'd basically just come out and we'd only seen a little bit of footage over the first couple of days. But the, the, the anger and incredulity of how bad these games are has just gotten it's just increased over the week it's incredible how how bad they are how bad of a a, a remaster a remake well they're not remake but they, they've basically taken broken mobile ports and ran them through an ai to upscale everything and then you come up with all these problems that have never been fixed it's like they didn't even play the games after they did it. it. It it baffles me some of the bugs and glitches and ridiculous things that we've seen. Obviously, there's like, people are covering it more than I am. You can go and check out videos of all the problems that people are finding in these things and the, the backlash and news sites talking about it and and news, you know, YouTube channels talking about it. Young Year, for example, has done a few videos on it, which showcase some of the main things as well. It's just, it's just remarkable how bad these are, and you know, I honestly, 
And I wasn't. And if you go back and watch some of these weekly update videos, you'll hear me talking about the definitive editions when they are announced and things like that. And I'm always talking about sort of tempering people's expectations and. You know they're gonna be probably okay but then don't be expecting full-on remakes or the gta 3 in gta 5 physics or graphics or anything like that some people who amazingly were expecting that and i never was but even with my low expectations after years and years of being disappointed by rockstar with gta online i wasn't expecting them to be this bad the the rain issues is crazy to me how you know, when it rains at night, you just cannot see anything in the game. And then the rain doesn't show in front of certain textures. Just some of the crazy bugs that are going on in these definitive editions are terrible. The, the sort of, the way that some of the signs have just, they don't translate because they've ran it through an AI upscaler, which hasn't figured out what the word was meant to be properly. So the, the nothing makes sense. Instead of air guitars, it's AR guitars, and you know that's all that sort of stuff. It, it it baffles me that they could put out a product that was this bad. So yeah, and, and you know last week I said that the I, I might get them on the Switch, but I don't really feel any need to get them at all. And then the performance issues that they've been experiencing on the Switch makes me not even want to do that in the first place. So yeah, it, it's it's crazy and. To be honest, you know, Rockstar are kind of reaping a little bit what they've sowed. I mean, those who are new to this channel, or who've only come to this channel in the days of, you know, since I started doing random races and, and since G-Freds have been on the main channel and things like that, did, did you guys might not know or you might not remember if you've been here for a while that I used to be a, a big proponent of trying to help Rockstar improve the game and often that would lead to me getting frustrated about the way that Rockstar were being and I would end up putting out videos that were quite negative about Rockstar to saying exactly the crap that they're doing. One of the one of my more infamous videos is uh, titled GTA Online is now a boring mindless cash grab or something like that and it, it has one of the highest number of likes to views ratio on my entire channel. Highest number of dislikes to a views ratio probably as well, because not everybody agreed with it, but most people did. And that's the sort of thing that I used to do back in, I don't know, maybe it started out in 2013 as kind of giving, making videos that give improvements and, and ways that the game could be improved and then gradually getting more and more frustrated as those improvements never came and we just kept getting more and more expensive items, things pushed that were unfinished, vehicles added that weren't really thought about that much and coming in broken and bugged. And we've had that for years and years with GTA Online and I got more and more frustrated and it led to me releasing a video called Doomsday Disappointment when the Doomsday Heist was released. I mean, we all know how bad that heist is really in comparison to the others. and then they banned me on all five, all three platforms they eventually took it you know gave me the the account back on ps4 and xbox one but it was hard to not believe that it was something to do with the fact that i was being so negative about them and i've never been on rockstar's good side really um and i guess over the years i've kind of the reason i haven't really done any of that anymore is because it just it consistently falls on deaf ears there's no point there's only so many times you can say the same thing and nothing change before you just think well what's the point in me talking about it anymore and these definitive editions are exactly what comes from you know not listening to the community about the things that are going on in your current game not really caring about what's going on in your current game and what the community are thinking and making the best experience for the community and just chasing a mindless cash grab that is these definitive editions, just running the entire broken mobile ports through an AI upscaler, saying, okay, we're done, and shipping it and trying to make as much money out of as little effort as possible. And that's what Rockstar are these days. It's just such a shame to see from such a great company. And it's no surprise that, you know, Leslie Benzies and Dan Hauser have left if this is the, the direction that the, the company is going in. So, in a way, 
I can't be all that surprised that this is kind of what's happened. And I guess Rockstar, like I said, they're, they're reaping what they've sowed. It's not as if they've suddenly just made a mistake on these definitive editions. They've been showing this kind of lack of care and attention for a long time now. Those who play GTA Online know. And yeah, you know, what can I say? Good job, Rockstar. Way to ruin your reputation very quickly. We'll see what happens with them, but nah, that's what it is. I won't be buying them and I will be playing them and I have no interest in playing them either. I'll play the originals if I want to play those games. Much better and more polished experiences. Thank you very much. Let me know what you guys think, obviously, down below. This is the most ranty I've gotten about Rockstar for a long time. So, yeah, feel free to let me know what you think down below. Um, as usual, I will be back with another video just like this next Thursday, the 25th of November, where we'll go through everything that's changed once again. Feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.